It was the largest city in the world in the Middle Ages and is the only city anywhere that has both Europe and Asia inside its boundaries. And now, Istanbul is a host city with the Extreme Sailing Series. It's a tour that arrives from China, where conditions push some of the best sailors in the world beyond their limits. Yeah, China's great. I mean, it was a capsized fest and, you know, it was fairly all on for everyone. The bows are in, oh, they're over! The windy day that we had, the offshore day, was certainly uh, certainly pretty crazy, and I think that uh, that footage from there will be uh, you know, will be circulated for the next quite a few years. It was more sort of stunned, I think, that to think that four of the eleven boats had tipped up. Helm there! Oh no, he's going to fall! It was really incredible, really fast, and uh, a bit dangerous. It was a high action adrenaline sort of day. Oh no! Bang! Istanbul, a great city, amazing place to sail. And the race course here is going to be uh, very challenging, it's very tight, We're sailing in a tiny little uh, river. When I arrived in by plane, I saw the boat and I said it's not possible to, to sail in uh, here, but uh, now uh, I, saw, I saw it and it, I think it's perfect. Directly in the center, it's, it's amazing, I mean, the people can look from their windows on the sailing area. If the wind is blowing here as well, it can be really tricky because we are right at the uh, bottom of a kind of a funnel. So the gas can come really quickly and it can be a really uh, tricky place. Yeah. Well, I'm very focused to, on this race and I hope I make not too much damage on the boat. <laughs> the city is really, is really nice, but uh, the game is really hard. It's really short. Uh, sometimes you, you, you can't pass uh, the tough mark. You have to wait. Uh, in, uh, in, in port, it's crazy. Yeah. You know, there's things that are going to happen, and potentially every now and then a little bit of rubbing is racing. But they, uh, you know, for the most part, there were no big ones, and uh, I would say there's plenty of potential for big ones. <laughs> but what's for sure, it's time for a man here to take off. <laughs> 